So this video is for people that have an iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch and want to download and read our magazines on them. First you'll notice there are two options. You can either go to the App Store or into Newsstand. We're going to go right through Newsstand and you can see the other magazines that might be in there. So if you want to say get one of our apps, click on the store and the store will load and you can then search for whichever one of our magazine titles you'd like to. So whether you're in the App Store or in Newsstand, you can search for the title of the magazine that you want uh, the app for. It's in the top right hand corner, there's a bit of a search bubble. Just tap on that and type in the name of the magazine. When it does pop up, there'll be a little button there that says free or install. Tap on that and you'll probably be prompted for your Apple ID password. So go ahead and type that in. And if you're not sure what that is, it's what's linked up to your iTunes account. And if you don't have an iTunes account, you can go to the iTunes store and it will explain exactly how to do that. Once you've done that, it'll ask you if you want to install. You click yes and it will begin to download. You'll notice that the cover is slightly grayed out and there's a blue bar that is moving from the left to the right as the download progresses. Once the issue is fully downloaded, the cover then becomes brighter and you can then tap on it to open it and go inside the app to see where different issues are. It may ask you if you want to register your information. You can do so now or later, it doesn't really matter, so click whichever you'd like. And if you've actually had this app before and bought different magazines, it will ask you if you want to restore your purchases. If you do, click Restore and they'll be there waiting for you in the My Editions tab. In this case, I'm going to click No to show you what it looks like if you were the first time. So you'll notice there are three tabs on the right underneath the cover, the Latest Edition, My Edition, and Register. We're going to go and click on the Latest Edition, and that's going to show you the latest thing that was added to the app gives a bit of synopsis and allows you to purchase it by pressing the little blue button below the purchase. If we decide to go into My Editions, this is basically where everything we upload goes into. You can subscribe here, browse back issues, check out some of the free content we post, and you can buy issues ranging from $0.99 cents to $2.99 per issue. If you see an issue you want, go ahead and tap on that issue. You will then be shown what's in the issue, different features, departments, and what to expect, and the option to purchase. Tap on the blue button, and you'll be asked if you want to buy that issue. If indeed you do, click on buy. You'll have to enter your Apple ID in one more time, and the issue will begin to download. Depending on your internet speed, it may be wise to choose not to download all the video content. You will be asked before it begins downloading. Uh, you can always download the videos as you come up to them, but if you have a really fast internet connection and lots of space on your device, then go ahead and download the videos with it. If not, you might want to choose to do that later. So then we go back into our My Editions, and you'll notice that it's preparing to download. So again, you'll know it's downloading by this small blue bar underneath the issue you just purchased, moving from left to right, and depending on the speed of your internet, it may go very quickly or it may take some time. Once the blue bar reaches all the way to the right, the issue will then show that it is indeed downloaded. Now, if you want to read your issue, you just tap on the cover and it will go inside the magazine. To check out all the unique features that you can find inside the Rapid Media Apps, watch the Rapid Media App Features video.